Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an amazing privilege for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless all our first timers. Thank you for clicking on the video and to all my returning subscribers. I love you so much. You are always in my prayers. You are always in my thoughts. Hallelujah. God says someone is going to call you and ask you these words. You must have this response for them. Someone is going to call you and ask you this set of words I'm about to release right now. You must be prepared. You must have an answer for this. When the Lord gave me this prophetic word, he led me to the story of blind Bartimaeus. And he said so many times we are calling upon God and we do not really know what exactly we need. Yes, it's true that you might be overwhelmed by your life and the things that are going on and you want 1,001 thing. I, rem I, 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 I remember someone was talking to me and they said, my life is in shambles. This is not going right. That is not going right. And I asked, what do you want? My relationship is not going right. I mean, my, my, my financial life is not going right. And I was asking, I started asking her, what do you want God to do? Because I sensed like they were just overwhelmed by their situation. And really, they were not being categoric about what they wanted. I just want to have a good life. I just want for things to be better. What do you want? When Jesus, you know, the Bible says that Jesus was, um, blind Bartimaeus was screaming. Jesus, son of David, ha David, have mercy upon me. He kept on screaming and screaming. And he caught the attention of Jesus. When Jesus turned to him, of course, Jesus noticed he was blind. And Jesus heard him beckoning on him. But he still asked, what do you want? And thank God, blind Bartimaeus, because, you know, being blind, probably he was poor. He was on the streets. He was by the roads. And maybe he was begging for arms. You know, looking at him, there were many things he could have wanted. There are people you meet, they are blind. But what they don't want is their sight restored. What they want is help to maybe start a business, to maybe have a house and all of that. And so Jesus asked him, what do you want? What can I do for you? He was very ready and specific in his response. He said that I might receive my sight. That I might receive my sight. He was very plain and categoric. And Jesus told him, your faith has made you well. God, God he, Jesus healed him because he knew exactly what he wanted. And God is saying, I should tell someone, it's not just about you feeling overwhelmed with your situation. It's knowing what exactly you need. You know, speaking to, if I say young people right now, you're going to say, you're not young yourself. But people know exactly what they don't want. They say, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. Now, what do you want? They are starstruck, looking at you, lost. People are expert at knowing what they don't want. But they do not really know what they want, especially in relationships. Somebody will tell you, I don't want him treating me like this. I don't want this particular aspect. Now, they, 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 they are, they are uh, um, aware of what they don't want because of how it has been served to them. But they don't even know what they want. And so God is there. He wants to bless you. But you are not crystal about the things you want. When God looks your direction, you've got to be specific. I want this kind of a job. I want to live in this kind of a house. I want to drive this kind of a car. I want my family to be like this. You have to be categoric because it is not every day that you catch the attention of, of God in some prayer requests or some things you're asking him. So get ready. One of these days, you are about to, God's attention is about to be on you. And when he asks, 
Be ready to say exactly what you want without fumbling, without babbling. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.